Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel as we continue this series today on privacy. One of the questions that I get from time to time and one of the comments I will see from users that will uh, use this practice is simple. When you're not using your computer, and a lot of us do this, we don't use it for an hour or two, but we keep it on. Or when I go to sleep at night, should I disconnect my internet? Should I disconnect the router or the modem that connects to internet to stay safe? Is it better to do so or not? And uh, the question is uh, interesting. And of course, in today's connected world where everything stays connected, um, it is an interesting thing to think about. So of course, if you're like me, you will spend hours in a day where your PC is on because you don't want to turn it off and, and wait for it to you know, reboot every time that you need it. And of course, it will be on, which means that with a router or a modem or everything, it is constantly connected to the web. And of course, you can see the status of that connection in the task manager. Um, you can actually just go into performance and check out your Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and you'll see that even when you're not doing anything, there are little bits of data here and there that are pumped out and in from the internet on a connection. So that means that of course your computer is doing stuff and there are some in and out of data on the internet. So should you be scared about that? And should you turn off these devices? The short answer first of all is you should not disconnect any modem from your connection. Uh, one of the common causes of disconnects and problems is people that disconnect their modems all the time. And one of the things there is that, yeah, it's supposed to connect and be solid and work well, but in reality, connections and computers are not as simple as that. So by having your modem reconnect to your ISP all the time, sometimes it can create problems. Sometimes a connection can become problematic. So you're better off leaving it on all the time. The other thing is your modem actually has a sensing technology that can check out what's the connection like and always adapt to that level of quality of connection. So by leaving it on, it always has this latest state of what the connection is all about and usually ensures that your connection is rock solid. The um, router I do not see why you should actually shut down a router anyways. Um, you know, why? Because the, you know, we read about how people can sometimes snoop on Wi-Fi or maybe try to, um, you know, using Wi-Fi, um, try to hack into things and, and so on. You know, that is much more theory in most cases than reality. And those that are and will be affected by that are much more enterprise and business users where the money is than, you know, you at home in your street and uh, where there's like, you know, your neighbors are all connected and so on. So chances are pretty low that anything can happen there. The uh, other thing about that is, of course, if you want to have a simple answer of, it's all right to leave everything on, even your PC, when you're not there. Um, it comes mostly from how you actually have security. And security comes in several forms. First of all, firewall. Make sure the firewalls are working. The best firewall you can have is the one in the router. So if you have a modem and you have a router with Wi-Fi and multiple ports to connect, that's the best a firewall that you can get. It's the dumbest kind and because it's dumb, it's why it's actually such an amazing firewall. Hardware firewalls are great and that is a very good layer of protection already. If you are directed di directly connected to a modem, then the only firewall you'll have is the one in Windows. 
So you'll want to at least make sure that the firewall within Windows is working. In most cases it is and should not be a problem. Actually, if your firewall is deactivated, Windows Defender will become red and it's going to say, oop, something is wrong with the firewall. So in general, Windows Firewall is fine. But like I said, having a router with its own hardware firewall is even better. But the firewall within Windows is fine. The other thing after that is make sure that all of your operating systems and software that you use are up to date. That will prevent security flaws that could be technically used to be accessed. So you don't need to disconnect anything. Um, I know some people are a little more paranoid than others and like, you know, I'd rather do that. Uh, do it if it makes you feel good. It's, you know, but like I said, a modem, especially a broadband modem is meant to be connected 24 hours. And uh, if you add a, of course, a router over that, or if it's a combo with a router inside and has a firewall, your protection is good enough that you don't really need to uh, do anything. And for the question that might pop up to your mind is, well, you're not doing anything on the internet right now. Why are these little spikes of data? Well, remember that Windows connects to servers at Microsoft for update reasons for all sorts of little things. Remember that the uh, software you use, things that you have on your computer might want to check for, also check for updates. Uh, there's always exchange of data of all sorts, depending on what you're doing with your computer. It's normal to have little peaks like this on a computer. And um, that is not a sign of being hacked or anything. Your PC does a lot of background tasks, and some of them require to go on the Internet for that reason. So don't be alarmed. If you're up to date, you got a router, you've got a modem, and you're on Wi-Fi with a secure WPA connection uh, with password and all, you're fine and should not be alarmed and don't have to really shut down anything. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.